Hey YouTube, what's up? So now that I have the power wall all up and running, kind of, to a reasonable, I don't know, but it's up and running, and I want to start doing some load tests. But before I do that, I've had a lot of questions on how many amps the UPS draws under a no load condition, and I don't really have, or I didn't really have a way to do that. But I do now, and I want to install that so I can at least do that test, and then I can start doing the, the load tests, and I think the little device that I have will do that. And I have to give a little bit of a shout out to Willem Potter, 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 Potter. I don't know if the G is silent. Is it silent G? I'm not sure how you pronounce your last name. I'm gonna murder it, but it's like pot, pot, pot getter. It looks like pot guider. Pot guider? Pot. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so I'm just gonna say it those few amount of times and then move on. Anyway, he was one of the winner winner chicken dinners on all the live feeds that I did when I gave away like everything I owned. And he wanted to send me a little thank you gift as well, and I did just get that in the mail, and I think that this little meter will help me on some of these tests. So let me show it to you. That. All right, so this is a little meter and the model number is PZEM-051. I think I've gotten a few suggestions on possibly using one of these and it was in one of my Amazon shopping wish list thing wish list you know and I can only afford so many things at once but luckily Willem sent me one so I'm gonna try to figure out how to hook this up and finagle it into the power rack over there so we can do some tests so it came with a meter and a 100 amp shunt it also came with instructions in a couple different languages so I'm gonna grab some of those Anderson plugs and wires out of that box of tricks I have over there and then I'm going to rig up some sort of like plug and play type thing so I can finagle it in over there. It's not going to be like a permanent install because I still haven't made up my mind on how everything's going to sit in there so it's kind of made to take apart pretty easily. Alright so this is a DC digital multi-function meter. The function step one says electrical parameter measurement function and it displays voltage current, active power, and energy somehow. It also has a voltage alarm function, over voltage alarm threshold, backlit, and voltage flashing to alarm. That might come in handy. Uh, the reset function of the energy key, store data when power's off. It has a large screen LCD. Um, I wouldn't really classify that as large, but We'll go with it. Down here, the display format. Test range is zero to 10,000 watts. Energy test range is zero to 999 kilowatt hours. Voltage test range is 6.5 to 100. Current test range is zero to 100 amps. That sounds great. And there's a couple other settings in here, which I'm sure I'll probably have to press the button a million times to figure out when we hook it up. All right, so it comes with a diagram right on the back of the meter and it looks pretty simple. So what it basically shows is we're gonna go from the battery negative through the shunt and then to the load and the battery positive will stay the same. So basically I'm just gonna make some new negative wires and then I'll run some tiny wire for the actual connections to the meter itself. And I'll probably end up using some of that ethernet cat5 cable type stuff. All right, so let's get to it. So I have a whole bunch of these wires in my box of Anderson plugs and wires. These are 12 gauge, but I think that'll be fine definitely for this because I'm using two 10 gauge wires over there now. So if I use four 12 gauge wires for their for the tests, it should be just fine. And basically, I just didn't want to ruin any more of the 10 gauge. I would rather ruin some of these 12 gauge since I probably won't be using these very often. All right, so the plan is to come off of the battery into this plug right here. 
I'm going to cut this off roughly there and I'm going to put a terminal on there so I can go through the shunt and then I will go off the shunt again to another terminal right here and then I'll go right into the existing battery connection that I have there now. Instead of wasting any more of the eyelet connectors, I'm going to do this janky thing where these basically where I can just smash the wires inside of here. I think it'll be just fine until I can make up my mind how I want to set everything up. Yeah, and it's not permanent, so that's great. All right, so these I'm gonna leave a little bit long because I'm gonna have to probably come off the battery pack and I'm gonna have to mount this somehow. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that over there yet. So I'm gonna leave these just a little bit long so I have room to figure out exactly where it's gonna go. Too bad I can't put these in the drill to straighten them all out. That spot looks good. I wonder if I can cut all four of these at once. Nope, just two. And I left a little bit of room so I can reuse these if I need to. Because I'm a hoarder. This is going to be awesome. Oh, and I did have to drill these out just a little bit so they'll fit on the shunt itself. Uh oh. Guess it helps if you use the right one, huh? Okie dokie. Twist these mass together here. Yeah, that's going to be super ghetto, but that's all right. This is why you guys watch my channel, right? Because it's the low budget version. Low budget. Get it so tight that you strip it out. I think that'll be just fine. It better be. Got some connectors and some wires here. These are the ethernet wires. I guess I'll just use green and orange. I wanna be able to go from the shunt and I wanna bring this meter up to the front so I can see it easily. So these will probably be a good three feet long. Hopefully that does not mess with the voltages. It's this long right here. That, that's how long it's going to be. On the back here we have two going to these guys right here which will measure the actual amperage so we'll do those first. Now I know you guys love those big ass crimpers I've got. I don't have any crimpers for anything small. Oh wait I got these cheap things I could do that. I really want to do this YouTube thing like full time, like seriously, no joke, full time. Why won't you go in there? Or do you guys watch my channel because you think I'm going to blow something up? Either way, I'm cool. If I could quit my job and do full full time YouTube, I mean, that would be like, oh my God, that would be awesome. But that might not be anytime soon. So this one will go to the battery positive, so I'll probably have to unwind them just a little bit. All right, so I found a project box that I've had for quite a long time that I was gonna be using for something else, but I might as well throw this in there so it doesn't get touchy-feely with anything else. I'm just gonna drill a couple holes in the side so I can run the wires right out of it. See, I already changed my mind. These are awesome. this is painful to watch. Don't worry, it's painful for me too.
And there we go. That should work just fine, I guess. I'm not gonna bother securing it down. I just didn't want this to touch anything else. Okie dokie, Smokey. Now let's go put it in. I'm gonna have to probably come up with a better system than this, especially whenever I start hooking up, you know, more packs paralleled in here or whatever. I get, again, I guess I never said this was permanent. I'll probably have to come up with some sort of bus tie type system so I can run ever, all the batteries to one bus and then off that I can come back into the UPS. Or maybe I'll have a real inverter one day. I don't know. All right, so anyway, we're just gonna leave this how it is. On here, I have to come off the battery, the negative side, into the shunt, and then from the shunt back into the UPS. All right, so for the power wire, I do have to hook that guy up. He's technically supposed to be on this side directly to the battery, but I don't know if it would harm anything if I put him right there or not. I don't think it will matter. I'm gonna hook up the power wire to this side since I've already got so many lugs on that side. And actually, I'm just gonna disconnect it all right now. And I can connect my little box in here. All right, so let's see. Off of the negative side of the battery should be this guy here, I hope. Going into the load. And I'm just gonna tap this onto the positive to see if it shows up. I probably should have put a fuse on here. Well, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, the battery's not hooked up. <laughs> oh, okay, there. Okay, cool. It came on. All right. All right, let me hook them up right here real quick. Jeez, I'm like dropping everything tonight. Where did all that even go? Found it. This better turn on if I plug it in. Okay, cool. It says my battery voltage is 56.57. Let me go grab my voltmeter and I'll verify that. All right, and this one says 56.1, 56.56. So hopefully I can adjust that unless this voltmeter is way off, which it could be. Let me go grab another one. Actually, it's not off. The charge controller says 56.1 as well. So this guy is off a little bit. Hopefully I can adjust him. But I'm gonna shove him down uh, somewhere to the side so we can go up front. Okay, so pressing once is just the light. High voltage, so I'll set that to, I don't know, since it's a half a volt off, I'm gonna go 58.5. All right, we'll do 44 for low voltage. All right, pass, pass. All right, well, I just have to remember it's about a half a volt off. All right, well, I could set something under that so it's set up a little bit higher. I'm just gonna throw some tape underneath it. I don't really need the cover plastic on there anymore either. There we go. Okie doke. Well, I guess the first test will be to see what the UPS draws idle. Here we go. Well, there you go. If this is accurate, it is around 64.2 watts or 1.14 amps. All right. Well, Willem also sent me these little battery, like switching from one bank to the next bank. I don't know if I could use this because possibly one amp for DC. Possibly. I don't know yet but maybe I could use this for like switching meters or something. That might be kind of cool. Sent me one of these. It says, warning, dual supply, isolate solar supply at distribution board located, and maybe you laser etch something right there, if you had a laser etcher, but I don't, so I'll probably have to write on it. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, but I do like it, so I am gonna use it. And then he also sent these little guys, those little guys. 
solar supply main switch and grid supply main switch. I like that. I might use those somewhere as well. And they're just little guys. And he also sent a couple of the little tiny mini voltmeters. Uh, I think they're in my bag already over there, my other bag of tricks. So big shout out to Willem, and I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce your last name again. So thank you very much. I am already using some of the stuff. Let's see. All right, well, I guess if anybody has any ideas how to adjust that uh, meter, maybe I could take the cover off and there's a little pot in there that I can adjust. I'm not sure. If anybody's done that, let me know. And it was only like 60 something watts. I already forgot because I have that short-term memory loss. So I think it was only like a little over an amp. That's not ridiculous, I think. Um, this is what I have to work with, so this is what I'm going to be using. Maybe one day I'll have a real inverter. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if this thing even lasts. So I'll work with what I got. One of the next videos is going to be a load test. I would like to do at least a thousand watt load to start out with and then work my way up from there. I would like to max it out just to see if it'll even do it and to see if there's any problems. I'll also put a link down below for that meter if anybody else is interested in getting one I don't know maybe you are maybe you aren't but I'll put a link down there it'll be an affiliate link so if you click on it and buy one I get a little tiny percentage yeah and I always have like a million other affiliate links in there I'm hoping somebody will click on one of them and buy something all right yeah I can shut up now I'll see you guys on the next one I need more light um, um so I've had my eye a couple Zoom on that. Zoom in on it. Uh, um, and the, um, and to the, uh, 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 and I, no, oh, actually I wasn't supposed to do it like that. All right, so the positive will actually go to the battery positive. Duh. Um, so, and come on, wire work with me here. Why are you no fit? It's because it's metric. I don't have metric down here. Um, and you can't see shit. And, and the...